Hey guys, it's Car Guy 11. How's everybody doing tonight? Welcome to another Car Guy 11 Live where we talk about the latest news stories and get your input. Uh, you're welcome to join in anytime to join the conversation and definitely say hi in the chat and um, let me know who's watching tonight. And uh, we already got one, Dan in New Jersey. Hey, hey, guy, thanks for joining us tonight. And um, just um, as a reminder, if you guys, um, hopefully you guys saw the last two videos, I, I wanted to talk a little bit about one in particular. Um, my last video was the snow video on the, on the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk with the, my new Cooper Discoverer AT34 S tires. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I uh, enjoyed making it. Um, they did very well. They did very well this um, in the, the snow we had last week, about a week ago today, actually. So um, yeah, that, that was pretty cool. All the snow is gone already. But um, yeah, this, this winter has been very odd. It snows one day, then it gets warm, then it snows gets cold <laughs> and it gets warm again so pretty crazy um dan says not normally home this early great to see you oh cool great dan yeah i've been working late this week myself um we do some shifts and if you guys remember i work for uber self-driving vehicles so um I, I get to test the autonomous uh cars and uh we do uh we've been we've been uh rotating shifts so we have like an extended so um i i've been working yeah till about eight so i actually just got home a little bit ago so just uh just in time for the live stream that's actually why i'm doing it at nine too because i um uh, i wanted to be sure to have it the same time every week in case i did have work late so but hey autonut thanks for joining us tonight but um yeah why don't we uh why don't we start um i i i kind of teased this week of of having big news and actually um i do have a few pretty cool stories and um the first one in particular um that i'm excited about and i like um reading about it's dealing with the Porsche Cayman again. And, and we've been talking about it the last couple of weeks. But this week is a very interesting story uh, where they're saying that the six cylinder is going to be put back into the Cayman. Uh, this is Motor Authority's article. Um, what they caught is some spy shots. And it's not the GT4. This is the GT4 here. Yeah, with the wing and the uh, wider fender flares and bigger tires, stuff like that. Um, it's not what, what they caught in this testing here. And as you can see, it's more like the base model. Um, narrower tires and wheels. No body kit. You know, more plain. Um, hey, Cargo 11, thanks for joining us tonight. And as you can see here, um, it's more along the lines of an S model or a GTS model. Uh, no, no big wing here on the back. So what they're saying is, uh, they're doing testing, putting the six-cylinder back into a non-GT4 model. Um, what do you guys think of that? I I am very surprised, honestly. Um, I, I'm not sure they'd go back to the six-cylinder, at least in this point of the generations, because um, the 718 now has been out for several years. And the GT4 will be the last version of that model. So it'd be very surprising to me for them to put it in 
Um, but it's possible that the next generation would um, go back to the six cylinder. And the only thing I could think of is they're just not selling very well with the four cylinder turbo that's in there now. So um, that'd be pretty exciting news. Uh, what do you guys think of that? But um, but I do have a couple problems with it. They also said in the article it may be uh, a model in between GTS and GT4. Now, GTS is already around $90,000. So the, this six-cylinder model would be over 100, and then the GT4 is going to be probably like 120 or something. I, I just, I can't see, I mean, they don't sell all too many Caymans as it is, and I can't see them having that many differentiations, like with the base Cayman, Cayman S, GTS, this six-cylinder version, and then GT4. That's a lot of steps there. And, um, you know, I hope what they end up doing is putting the six-cylinder back into the regular Cayman in the next generation. So, Autonet says, think they will do a special model maybe. Can't see them doing the entire model this late in the 718 life. Uh, well, I mean, the special model should be the GT4, but, um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if they would spend the money to, uh, design another model below that. I mean, they're going to get the premium money for the GT4, so it's worth them spending that money to certify it, EPA and everything, but I don't know. I, it's. It's surprising news to me. I don't necessarily believe it. Um, it's just something. That's the only article I've seen on it, too. So it could very well just be more testing of the six-cylinder. Maybe they don't care necessarily. They're not track testing it. Obviously, it was in the winter snow. Maybe they're just doing, like, temperatures and, um, you know, how it performs in cold weather, something like that. Uh, Philip. Uh, hi from the villages. Hey, Philip. Thanks for joining us tonight. And Autonaut says a test to see for the next model. Yeah, I could definitely agree that they're they're putting it in the 718 body because that's what's available to test right now, and they are testing it for the next model. Now that that will be interesting. Uh, so then I would, you know, I, I told you guys I'm interested in the GT4. Um, do I pony up the money for the GT4 or wait for the next model and just get a cheaper uh, base or S model? Uh, but the only thing with the GT4, it does hold their value. And that's one thing I like about it. I know it's expensive, but they're still selling for sticker or over sticker today. So, But anyway... Um, so that brings us to the next topic, and that is, of course, C8 Corvette. And, you know, I, I, of course, considering the C8 Corvette as well, but um, we got some new spy photos this week and a little bit more closer up details of it if i can make it bigger here nope oh <laughs> uh, i think that's as big as i can make it but anyway um some more details on uh the the rear wing it has like that uh pedestal kind of design uh, i'm not sure how i feel about that Let's see, see more, but yeah, there it is. There it is. That's pretty, I don't know. I, I'm i not sure I like that design. They they had a wing like that on the C7 as an, an option. I forget what they called it, but um, I definitely did not like that one. What do you guys think of that? The, the tail lights, though, I do like. It looks very similar to C7. LEDs, but um, 
Carter 11 says, is it lower to the ground now than the C8? Uh, the C8, is it lower to the ground? Uh, that's a good question. I'm not sure. Uh, it, it probably will be slightly lower. Uh, Dan says, the rear pillar is huge. This, you mean the D pillar? Yeah, that that is true, Dan. I don't know. Maybe they're covering some glass there, but maybe not. Let's see, let's see what else we got here. No, nope. there's another. There's another angle. Uh, Autonut says wing is neat. I like that it's different. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I like it. It's too different for me. <laughs> um. We see the huge side air intake, which, of course, for the mid-engine design, you're going to have that. And then one thing I'm happy about is the front grille. The, the original renders had such a wide or tall front grille. This is a little slimmer. Uh, it's still a little bit on the tall side, but it's, it's better than it was. Um, you know, jury's still out how that's going to look. Dan says, hood is C7. Um, I mean, it does have some of the curves, but I still think it's, it's more, it's, it's a smaller front overhang for sure. The hood is shorter. So... Let me see what else we got here. Headlights look like they're LEDs instead of the HIDs. Wheels, ah, eh, not, not thrilled with that design. And the brakes just look like regular steel brakes. And Autonaut says, hate big grills. Hopefully they slim it down even more. Right. I agree. I agree. Hopefully. I mean, I think we talked about this last week. They don't, the, the, the radiator, or I mean, the air intakes are back here. This, the radiator should be back there too. Um, it could be, you know, cooling for the brakes, cooling for AC uh transmission you know power steering all that stuff i i don't know i mean they're probably very particular on um you know heating because the z06 when it came out it had terrible overheating issues so i don't think they want to be caught uh with that happening again so they're probably overcooling this one Carlton Henry, hi from Liverpool, New York. Thanks for joining us tonight. With the C8 design, do you know if the cargo space will be considerable less? Con considerably less. Um, it probably is going to have to be, but um, you know there will be room up front here. I just, you know, Corvettes have always been practical and. You know, they've always made sure they fit golf clubs. So I don't know if golf clubs will fit up front. Uh, the only other thing I can think of is if there's a, you know, the engine's right behind the rear seats, and then there's another cargo area in the back here. Maybe they can fit the um, golf club sideways there. But that would be very surprising if you couldn't fit golf clubs in this car. Considering the uh, clientele, uh, Dan says they could configure air intakes like the ZR1. Yeah, the ZR1 looks kind of silly with the front, uh, as wide as it is too. Uh, I'm not, I don't really love that design either. But yeah, they had to put all the uh, coolers up there. So, but this is ground up design. They should be able to, you know fit them in in the appropriate spots. 
Now, this, again, is probably the base model because of the steel brakes. Um, they don't look humongous either. But tons of pictures here, so that that's it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Anything else here? The profile. I mean... I'm really going to have to see. I It's not blowing me away, to be honest with you. Not blowing me away uh, right right now. But there's a ton of camouflage on it. I really love the C7 now. So. Quad exhaust. And they're on the, you know, not no longer in the center rear. They're on the edges. So what do you guys um, think about the engine lineup again? Uh, we haven't talked about that recently. I still think it's going to the base model is going to be an updated version of the LT1 small block that's in the C7 and um I'm not sure if the dual clutch will be in that base model or not i go back and forth with that it could be the carryover 8 speed auto and then they'd save the DCT for the Z06 model or Z51 model something like that Autonut says he doesn't think the LT1 will be in it, willing to bet money. Um, so then we have, if we don't have an LT1, we then we talk about the 32 valve V8, uh, that Blackwing V8 that's in the Caddy. That's 5.5 liter, 550 horsepower. They did most likely... Um, well, I was thinking they would up the displacement and power if it was a Z06 and, and be like 700 horsepower-ish. So I don't know what the base engine, maybe Autonaut, what do you think the base engine will be then? The Blackwing V8? But they said that engine wouldn't be using anything else. Uh, Dan says large section in place. Large rear section to place the engine further towards center. Balance is probably 50-50. Um, yeah, right. So you're suggesting that there will be a storage area in the rear. That rear looks very high, especially with that wing. That's like a very high um, uh, carryover to put things in that back. But yeah, still no news of when, you know, when it's going to debut. Oh, Dan says definitely no storage in the rear. Well, yeah, there's going to, I don't know where they're going to put, um, put golf clubs. <laughs> I don't know. It says small displacement over can turbo like the black wing. Just not, just might not be black wing. Well, I think they'd have to change the displacement. Um, well, let's see. LT1 right now is like 460 horsepower. I'm thinking it's going to be around 500. The Black Wing's 550 right now. So it's going to be very interesting for sure. And you see that uh, there's some uh, air diffusers in the back here, probably as an exit for the cooling air coming into this from the side. Yeah, there's a lot of pictures here. Now this kind of shows that front front grow area a little more at least it's separated it looks like there's some vertical vertical lines here i don't want a, just a 
open large area intake. In fact, I don't like it on the 718 Cayman. Uh, and I don't like it on the new 911 has that just all air intake. This has some here, but I know I've seen it where that was just all open right there. Uh, Turg Burglar, thanks for joining us. The lack of golf clubs is not going to play well with some. Then again, the Cayman can't carry clubs either. Um, yeah, the Cayman, the Cayman probably can't carry clubs either, but Cayman is smaller in general. The whole car is smaller. Autonut says, not many tricks left to pull more horsepower out of the LT1 without losing drivability. So that's why I think it has to be different or 480 horsepower LT1 max. Yeah, um, that's true. That's true. And as you guys know, with C7 with the LT1, it, it idles kind of rough as it is uh, with that cam. So, yeah, if they made it more aggressive, you know, first of all, it'll be higher end power and it would, and it, you know, may, you know, it's probably going to be too rough of an idol unless they can get that, um, and it, um, they can adjust that cam, you know, how it has that lift and, um, uh, timing. It doesn't have lift right now. It has adjustable timing. Dan says there will be a grill. Corvettes always have grills. <laughs> yeah, we let's hope so. Let's hope so. Cause I don't like, yeah, I don't like how it's would just be straight across like that. Tur Burglar says, Do you have seat time in the 718 Cayman S? Actually, I do. I, I reviewed one this year. There is a video on my channel. In fact. Let's see. I have my channel up. And um, right here, the 718 Turbo came in us. It was a, um, a co-worker had it, so he let me uh, review it. So, yeah, it. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, it. I just don't love the Turbo 4 engine. I don't like the sound, and it does have some turbo lag. So... Um, otherwise I love the Cayman. I love the size. I like a smaller sports car, nimble. And, um, I'm looking forward to the GT4 or a, a six owner version of the Cayman. But I also, um, you know, of course love the Corvette. So, but Maybe I'll have both. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, Autonet says, what makes them think that the Cayman Pitchard has the six? Uh, they were saying that the exhaust, the exhaust setup, let me get to the exhaust right here. And uh, what else did they say in this article? Uh Exhaust tips featured on the prototype for the Cayman GT4, suggesting the same engine resides within. I mean, this is this is very. I think this is a long shot, honestly. Um, I mean, basically, that's all they're saying is because of the exhaust. But they're saying it will fill the gap between Cayman GTS and GT4. So. That's that's what that's what they're saying. Uh, Turk says hello, happy to be here. GM and Porsche fan and owner. Oh, great, cool. Uh, what uh, what models do you own? That what GM and Porsche do you own? Excellent. We'll have to watch. Would be very interested to hear your impressions. Yes, definitely watch that video. I'm a fan of both as well. <laughs> so. Um, one thing I don't want is an increased size of the C8. Now, last week I showed a rendering where they um, parked the C7 and C8 right next to each other, and it looked like 
the same length. I mean, not much different in profile at all. So hopefully that's the case, but I, I don't know. It, it seems it just looking at the car in these pictures looks like it's a bigger car, which I don't want. I don't want a wider car. I don't want a longer car. I like a nimble sports car. That's why I love the Cayman. And in fact, 911 to me is too large. I, I'd rather have the Cayman. Uh, Turk has a Gen 6 Camaro ZL1. Auto, nice, nice. And a Cayman GT4. Wow. Oh, I love, I love to um, take that one for a ride, the GT4 with the carbon fiber bucket seats, because I would definitely get that option if I get a GT4. Um, how often do you drive the GT4 and how comfortable are the seats? That's my question for you. Um, Cargirl 11 would love the Camaro as well. Let's see what else we got here. More of the same. Every angle. Here's a better shot of the taillights, which I like a lot. Very C7-like. Hopefully, the price is um, not too much more than the C7. I'm asking... I'm estimating around seventy thousand for the base, or just under seventy, I would say. Dan says C7 headlights. Um, let's see if we get better shot of the headlights. Oh, it does have the sequential turn signal, so it starts from the inside and goes on the out for the turn signal, which is pretty cool. That's a new feature, of course. The spy photographer saw that in action. Oh, here's another one. Here's another one. <clears throat> it also has the rear camera, the rear view mirror as a camera. That's a GM. Uh, GM's um, bringing this out into a lot of their models. Um, it has the rear view mirror, which you can flick a switch and it becomes a video screen. So that's pretty cool. And that would be helpful in this car. And, uh, it is an actual option on the Camaro as well. Now the 2019s auto nuts is funny that the Cayman has way more room inside than C7 yet. C7 has much bigger external dimensions. Hopefully C8 bridges that gap a little bit. Yeah, I agree. The, uh, headroom in the, in the Cayman is, is is tremendous i mean it's like a bubble that's why it can fit and um um yeah i i don't know though i don't know what they're gonna do with c8 because c7 got smaller than c6 inside Turg says gt4 driven about three or four days a week in a summer wow that's great the carbon fiber buckets are great for about two or three hours then feel a bit tiresome never hurt by back though okay that's good and that's good news that's good to know good to know um he's spoiled by the colder cars in the zl1 though yeah yeah those will be those would be nice i don't have unfortunately i don't have the cold seats in my c7 so autonet says don't need to tunnel in the middle of the c8 oh good point good good point autonet yeah you're right you're right so that might um, that might help out there, and it's going to have normal doors, no uh, no um, um, scissor doors or anything like that. Come on, I want to see the front again. Oh, there we go. Oop. Dan says C7 headlights. Um, they're definitely different. Uh, I think they're not going to be as large unless they're covering it as um, with the camo here. But, well, it's probably covering it a little bit here. I mean, I don't think they're going to be as large, but um, still, still pretty large. 
Uh, Turg says, I've tried the video camera rear view, rear view mirror in a GM Bolt. Felt really strange to have um, to refocus my eyes when checking the mirror. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, you should be able to adjust like the zoom so that it would be exactly what you're seeing in the mirror. But yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, there's a pretty close up one of the headlight. The C7 is more long. This looks wider, the headlight. Uh, I don't know. It says, I agree, Turg. I drove one also, and it was cool but odd. I think I, I think I would get used to it. Yeah, I mean, especially for a vehicle that you really can't see well out of, I guess you wouldn't see the same image as a, the mirror compared to the camera. You're going to see way more in the camera. So, um, yeah, I would think that you just keep it on the camera. I don't know why you would go back to the mirror. So... All right, let me see here. Um, several pictures, but I think we're starting back over. So the the last thing I just wanted to talk about real quick uh, are that there's plenty of C7s on the lot right now. They're saying 9,000 unsold. Um, you can get a great if you're in the market. If you don't want to wait for a C8, and it's a great, great car, of course. Bill Yates is with us. Thanks for joining us. While Porsche is great <clears throat> car company, I am too much of a cor Corvette freak to ever buy one unless I had enough money for both. <laughs> yeah, Bill, I agree with you. I would like both myself, so we'll see what happens. But, um, yeah, the C7 is a beautiful car still. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Maybe I'll keep the C7 and then decide between uh, the Porsche Cayman or the C8. And then I can have a Corvette and a Porsche. But um, but anyway, um, yeah, there's um, there's there's a ton of C7s out there. If anyone um, is still looking, also, oh, Dan brings up a good point. C7, my only option since no manual C8. You're right, Dan. You're right. Um, let's let's be sure the C8 doesn't get a manual, but yeah, it's not looking good for sure. So, um, yeah, you might be you might be right there. Um, I don't know. So, still think the C7 will be the, the last. NA naturally aspirated Corvette. Uh, uh, I don't know about that one either because they've had, you know, the overheating issues with the supercharge, the turbo. I don't know how it is, that black wing. Um I don't I don't know about that. The other thing they were I was reading, it's possible they'll get that black wing without the turbo. So it'd be a naturally aspirated door it cam. So that might be the base engine there, I don't know. Maybe they're gonna have a larger displacement version, probably like 5.5 .5 liter, but it won't be turbo. It'll just be NA, um, a high revving V8. And that would be about, you know, 500-ish horsepower. So, but anyway, it's going to be exciting. Yeah, yeah, that could be an option there. I don't know. But anyway, let's um, let's hope that we get some news soon. New York Auto Show is coming up. I am going. That's in mid-April. And then right after that is the Corvette birthday bash at the plant. So two opportunities to show C8. And um, I... I'm really hoping we'll get some news by then. Turk says, but the auto boxes are so good these days. 
My Z01 is a tad jerky and delayed on the paddle commanded downshifts, though. But the Porsche PDK is some German magic. Yes. Um, glad you brought that up, Turk. I think I would get the PDK if I get the Porsche. Um, I was really impressed with that transmission. I drove both. There's another video on my channel where I drove a, the manual and a PDK came in. And I like the PDK better because of the gear ratios. Um, was better geared. The the manual has very high gear. So um, you're in like second gear. Uh, you, you don't get you don't get the row of the gears basically. They're very tall gears. Um, and then uh, the PDK is super quick shifting, of course. So. Uh, Dan says, auto and fast isn't the issue. It's the fun of a manual. Right. That's true. Uh, Turk says, I will be I will be turned in for C8. I've tuned in for C8 News. I still remember when the C7 was released. It, time is just flying. I know. I know. I watched the Detroit Auto Show uh, when they revealed the C7, and I was like, Oh, I got to have that car. I was so excited about it. And um, I just couldn't get that first model year. That 2014 was sold out. Even 15 was tough to get. Um, so, yeah, so I'm excited for it, too. So, But, all right, guys, I think I'll end it here. Uh, great discussion tonight. I hope you join next week. Be sure to turn on notifications so you – get notified when these live streams are and also of course stay tuned for saturday videos so hope all you guys have a great week oh and do stay tuned for saturday's video because it will be corvette related so definitely uh tune in for that um a <laughs> couple more comments before we go. Tarek says gt4 is the same tall gears if it has a fault that would be it oh and french Front strut towers busting. Ooh, another YouTube just had a GT4 strut tower bust. Ooh, interesting. Dan says, I'm attending the August Corvette Museum deal in August. I plan to publicly make an issue out of the manuals <laughs> to the GM execs. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Might be a little late, though, Dan. You got to you gotta make that now. Uh, Turk, Turk says, thank you for the chat. And Autonet says, Turg, didn't hear about that strut tower. Wow. Well, let's hope they improve it on the next gen and also offer the PDK in the GT4 this time. So looking forward to that. All right, guys, have a great night, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.